Take, take us through the, yeah, uh, just the interception, the obviously, a big moment of the game, what was the play, what was your coverage, and what did you see? Um, he ran a dig, and uh, coach, you know, he called the call, and then I just, you know, executed the call. I seen that uh, the quarter that was finna throw it, and I just broke on the ball. I trusted my eyes, I trusted my keys, and that went to be a play. Trevor is Ward just said that he has no lack of confidence at all for when he goes out that you guys are going to step up for him. What does it feel like to have a guy like that give you that? Um, that I mean, when you've been around a guy, you know, through OTAs and, you know, Cam, you know, just in, in the season every day, you know, a guy sees what you made of, he sees what you can do, you know, so in our DB room, I, we always working, you know, always putting the, the work in at a time and to get to where we want to go, so, um, I, I mean, it feels good that my teammate has confidence in me, but, like, you know, we all work, so practice how you play. To be able to come up with that play, given the moment in the game, I mean, just dominate how much confidence does that give you? Just how big is that? I mean, in the game, it's so important. I always have confidence. I've been playing football for like 20 years. So, like, confidence is like something that I always got. It's like, I play football, it's like, that's like going to sleep. You know, I do it, like, that's what I do. So, um, I mean, yeah, it's cool to make a play and stuff like that, but I just go out there play my game, you know, do what I'm supposed to do, and then be the best I can be. I try to eat every play. So that's my mindset, that's my mentality. You guys held DK Metcalf to three catches. What, how was he well, How was he like out there? Was he chatting with you guys a bit? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really get enough all that rah-rah back and forth stuff, but uh, yeah, he's he a good player. You know, we just, you know, executed throughout the week and executed today, so that's just how it went. He can show his frustration sometimes. Do you seem frustrated out there? Uh, you should ask him that. Go ask him. Uh, I got nothing to say about that. What do you say just about the, the impact of the rookies tonight? Yourself, obviously, Malik, but I know on the other side has a big run. I mean, you guys kind of collectively came up with the biggest moment. Um, be, be prepared for the moment. You know, uh, our coach don't let us don't let us slack off. Our coach, you know, he stay on top of us. And you know, like when you put the work in, you know, you reap the benefits of your labor that you're putting in. You know, today we went to the bank. You know, we cashed in all the deposits that we've been making. So, um, yeah, I mean, I hear the term rookie a lot. Yeah, the first year, woo woo. But like I said, I've been playing football for 20 years. And, you know, I'm working every day, constantly working. The rookies are constantly working, constantly putting in. We constantly sharpen each, like sharpening iron. You get what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. You go out there and perform. At the end of the third quarter, the Seahawks got some momentum going. Did it feel like you guys were going down the same path that you had the last couple weeks? Um, no, not really. Um, it was a message that was, you know, set before the game. And, you know, we took it upon ourselves to, you know, refocus. You know, no matter what's happening, be focused. And, you know, we made sure that, you know, we did that regardless. Good play, bad play, you give up a play, you make a play, refocus. You know, the good is your next play. The game out over went to the 0-0-0, and that was the mindset. Thanks, Thanks, man. Thank you.